Hello Burberry Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, it is time to talk about the real housewife of Potomac. And no, we are not doing the recap just yet. I'm working on it. Um, but Candace Dealer is definitely not happy at what is going on with the show. And we definitely definitely need to talk about it but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel now you can do it through the thank bottom right here and let's talk about this oh uh, mess hey, yo, meal. no Right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. All right, before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners for this video and are the people of Liquid IV. Girl, this Liquid IV is amazing, okay? It's all about hydration. So if you are into going to the gym, into uh, playing a sport, hiking, um, I don't know, walking, swimming, whatever, this is for you. This will hydrate you twice as fast as water. So forget the Gatorade, forget the Powerade, forget all those nasty drinks. This is what you need. It is super convenient, guys. Look, it's just a little packs. You take one, you put it in a bottle of water, you are ready to go. And they have all these amazing flavors, passion fruit, green apple, watermelon, cherry, strawberry, like the list goes on and on and on. And it's really, really, really good in flavor. And for the hangover, bitch, this is amazing. Now for Halloween, get it. Because you will take one before you start drinking, another one after you finish drinking. Next day, it's like nothing never happened, okay? So if you want to get your liquid IV, go to the link on the description of this video and do not forget to use my discount code SHADEMAN EMPIRE and you will get 15% off plus free shipping. So get your liquid IV right now. All right, guys, so it is time to talk about the Real Housewife of Potomac. As you know, uh, Giselle has been doing the most. After last episode, we, we saw how Giselle saw an opportunity on Ashley's story and tried to, of course, make it about her and to drag another person into this whole mess. I don't, I'm not sure if her end goal is to literally like make Candace quit the show or if she just was like randomly trying to find a storyline and this just fall into her lap and she was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna rock with this, right? So Ashley Darby, you know, said to everyone and said then to Candace that she was a little taken aback when she saw a text message, a DM on Instagram at two in the morning from Chris saying, like, hey, you should have gone to the, um, wherever he was working, right? And she thought something like maybe he was like sliding into her DMs, you know, or some bullshit like that. And then she didn't know that Chris was actually the general manager of this restaurant or this place. And, well, it, it was not like he was randomly texting her. He was responding to one of her stories because she was with a friend very close by. So at that moment, Candace was very like, okay, I understand why it might be weird although it's not really weird because that's what it is you know and it's like they work in this industry they know that everything is about appearances and all of that of course he's gonna want to bring like all the you know celebrities or whatever the most he can to the restaurant to rebrand it right but anyways um Candace said, like, I'm going to decide that this was like an honest mistake that it was not shady and they kind of like move on from that well Imagine Candace's surprise when Garcelle, and Garcelle, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> mixing up, uh, Giselle came forward, okay, and now take that little nugget right there and transform it into, oh, Chris make me feel so uncomfortable. Oh my God, he wanted me. He wanted this, this girl, like he wanted my cookie. Are you kidding me? 
are you kidding me? Like, is G those words actually coming out of Giselle's mouth? So she came up with this whole story about the last reunion and how, you know, he said, like, hey, can we talk in the room, you know, and not, nothing happened. He didn't touch her. He didn't flirt with her. He didn't, like, nothing with her, you know. And now she's all like, oh, I didn't want to be with a married man in a bedroom. Like, oh, my God. Like, oh, the nerve, you know. Bitch, are you kidding me? I, I can't. I'm so sorry. I can't. And the impossible has happened because now we are all rooting for Candace Dealer. Because, I mean, we know where someone is being wrong. And Giselle is being so freaking wrong about this whole situation. And accusing someone of sexual harassment it's a very serious thing especially because they might be friends or whatever but they're also co-workers working for a company called bravo you know or nbc or the production company or whatever but they are co-workers so she's literally accusing another man of sexual harassment he made me feel so uncomfortable bitch are you kidding me so you didn't feel uncomfortable when like Pastel Holy Whore was cheating on you like in on your face a thousand times, but you are feeling uncomfortable with him in a room literally talking to you. And you decided to say something back then, but, but now that you are filming and you have a little bit of space after what Ashley said. Okay, we see you. We know where this is going for, uh, going for, you know? Well, Candace decided, of course, to take it to Twitter. You know that she is a Twitter queen. So she decided to put everything out there. I'm going to read you some of her tweets. It says, I haven't said anything yet, mostly because I've been in the land of Bravo having the time of my life. But the Real Housewife of, of Potomac episode two has come and gone. The first and most relevant thing I can say is that it's hard to say anything at all because I support women, I believe women, and I support hashtag me too movement. I can tell a woman how to feel about a man's presence in her orbit. We are entitled to our feelings and they should never be diminished or questioned. It's why the most appalling part about this episode and those that will play after is watching a feral gutter snipe attempt to upend and dismantle these pillars that women have worked so hard to establish all in the name of what all in the name of entertainment where where have we landed how exactly are we here you are not a victim what you are is a calculated slab of, of misery creating the next generation of nipples throughout the fine example your children have to mirror. We are all in danger. Girl, I have, like, I have to agree 100% with Candace. I'm so sorry, you know? And yes, like we, what we were saying, it's like if you really have an certain kind of experience you can voice it that's fine but we all know that she is not doing this because that's how she felt we all know that she's literally doing this to find herself a storyline what is giselle's storyline this season can anyone like give me like a you know a resume of like what is her storyline this season because i bet you that she doesn't have anything going on for herself and now she has this like she's i mean I'm sorry, but it's it's pretty disgusting. It's pretty disgusting. And I'm and like I was saying, it's very dangerous to make this kind of accusation. And like Candace said, all in the name of what? Just entertainment. It is one thing to create gold TV, and it is another thing to defamate and to use lies to be relevant on a show or on TV or wherever. And that's what Giselle is doing. And I feel like honestly, I mean. This could end up being like, I mean, is, is Giselle the next Amber Heard? You know, like that's how crazy she is right now doing all these kind of things. I don't know. So anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think on the comments below about this whole situation. Are you Team Candace? Are you Team Giselle? What do you think about this whole thing? And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.